What's going on guys? Today I have a new project. So I bought this off of a family member who had this for their kids. And long story short, a lot of things went bad on it. And it just sat in the yard. I offered them 50 bucks for it. And I bought it for a summer project. Now this is a 2005 Eton Viper 70. This is a 70cc two-stroke. Now this does have a lot of things wrong with it. As I said, it does run, but not very good. I have a whole list of of parts that it needs. That I'll put in here. So yeah, it's a lot. It's gonna be quite a bit of money. Hopefully, it'll be fun, fun little project this summer. Now I have done a few things to it that I didn't need to order parts for, like. I have charged the battery because that was dead when I bought it. I pressure wash it, although it's still kind of dirty. And I've also filled up the oil reservoir because this is a oil injected machine, which is pretty nice. You don't have to premix the fuel. And I also completely did a full change on the transmission oil because I figured that that wasn't hasn't been done in a while, so I could drain that all out. Put new stuff in there and today I'm gonna to be patching up these plastics a little better as you can see there's lots of tape and it's not it's just not very patched up very well so I'm gonna be drilling holes taking off all this tape and putting a lot more zip ties so it's patched up a little bit better and yeah I have um, all summer to work on this project and I'm hoping to flip it either trade it or sell it I'm not quite sure yet I looked up the average retail for this. It's around $600. But hopefully, since it'll have a lot of new parts, I might be able to get $700 out of it. The one downside I have is this was driven with the front wheel bearings bad. So this tire wore weird. But other than that, all the other three tires are in pretty good condition. They all hold air. They're not dry rotted at all. And another nice feature of this is it does have a rear disc brake. The front is a dual drum. Front, rears. Let's check out this brake fluid real quick. Take the driver. And let's pop this lid off here. Ooh, that's some dirty looking stuff right there. I might drain this brake fluid out and put some new stuff in it, I'm not sure. It is some really dirty looking stuff, although it is more than halfway full, so that's good. I don't believe they ever had brake problems like this. The brakes work flawlessly on this machine. Both brakes work. This is a, like I said, a dual drum has two cables. This is hydraulic disc brake. And it does run, I can show you guys right here in a second. The electric starts bad, so let's get started. There's a little gas here. I'm laying a little bit low right now. Now one thing about these oil injected machines is you can't always rely on the oil pump because sometimes the oil pump goes bad and you don't know it and then these engines blow up. It was smoking a little bit which tells me that it is working and processing. This has not really been run in a while so it makes sense why it might have not had a lot of oil in there right now but this does run like I just showed you and I already know you've seen the list and I'm going to go over some of the things that are bad right now. First off like I mentioned. These wheel bearings are bad, both sides, as well as I do need to bend, re-bend back these tie rods, because that one's really bent, and that one's bent just a little bit. Not bad at all, but as well as this chain and sprocket back here. As you can see that sprocket, those teeth are a little worn out, and this chain is really really loose 
Uh, the people I bought this off of said they took a whole link out of this chain and tightened this pretty high up and it's still very, very loose. So this chain is very worn out. Another thing I noticed is this chain tension is really bent. I'm going to have to order a new one of those because I don't want the chain flying off and cracking the case. And as well as you can see, both of these taillights are busted out, so I have to buy new, new taillights, which is not cheap at all. Because I don't think you can just replace the bulb on these. I'm pretty sure you have to buy the whole taillight. I don't know if it squealed or not that time, but sometimes this belt squeals really bad and it slips. So it's going to need a new belt for sure. It does have a couple newish parts that the previous owner said they put on. Like it has a, brand, a fairly new gas tank because that, the old one had a crack in it. A new Kickstarter because the other one came loose and fell off somewhere. So that is fairly new. And it also has a new solenoid because the previous owners put that on thinking that it was the issue. Why it wasn't starting with the electric start. Although it was just a starter. The carburetor also needs built because the seal right there as you can see is hanging out. And it leaks a little bit of gas there. And it also likes to constantly leak gas out of the bowl overflow. Which is an issue. It also needs a new pet cock and stuff because the old one busted. I have a... I have something rigged up right now which is fuel line fuel filter straight to the garbage so I could run it to see if it ran and it does. But it will need a new pet cock. As well as a new air box because it actually has a fairly good sized hole on the back side and does not like to run right. But for now I'm just going to patch that up so that I can, when I fix stuff I can test it out. So yeah that's this 2005 Eton Viper 70 I bought for a summer project. I will have a series of me putting the parts on here and fixing it up. So stay tuned for the next video.